Good morning. I'm Faith Elliott Rossing with the Department of Community Affairs, and I'm here this morning with Commissioner Bucky. Thanks I, for coming. Thanks for having me, Faith. Yeah, we have an exciting event coming up on yes. Tuesday, February 16th. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, um, we're going to have another town hall meeting. I think it's a forum that you like to entertain the public for. Exactly. This would be my fifth town hall meeting since I've been in office. Mm -hmm been trying to do four years so this would be the first one of 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to talk about uh, my district, District mm -hmm. 3, uh, Graysonville. I want to talk about the opportunities of restaurants coming there and really helping out not just my district but the entire county. Right. Exactly. So there's a project that's been uh, proposed in your district and it's been proposed by an entity, Graysonville Hospitality, Ma Hospitality Management. Correct. And they're proposing to construct two fast or casual kind of restaurants. Correct. Can you talk a little bit more about um, what they might be? Sure. Well, I do know probably 99.9% .9 sure that one is going to be a Denny's, okay. which I'm extremely excited about. Mm -hmm. And the buzz in the county seems to be pretty excited about that as well. The second one, I'm being told it could be a Chipotle's, it could be a um, uh, what a smoke house is it smoke grill smokehouse grill smokehouse grill pizza or oven pizza smoke oven pizza okay. what are them type of facilities we really don't have that one identified that specifically one. yet but we're pretty comfortable it's a denny's we're very comfortable it's a okay. denny's going in gotcha okay so this town hall meeting is going to be on tuesday february 16th correct it's going to be at the graysonville community center right correct. and correct. the address for the graysonville community center is up here on the slide behind us it's five 5601 Main Street Correct. in Graysonville. We're going to open the doors at 6 mm -hmm. and then we're going to have a presentation about 6.30, starting about 6.30 and we're anticipating that um, maybe Tom Davis from Davis Sheeran Associates will be the one who will introduce the project, just kind of give an overview? Correct. Okay. And then um, you anticipate that there'll be an opportunity for the public to ask questions, obviously. Absolutely. At the end, um so yes, at the end of, once we do the presentation, um, if anybody wants to ask questions to myself, to yourself, mm -hmm. county staff, or the gentleman proposing the property, absolutely. Good, okay. Um, on the next slide, I think what we have is an overview of where the property is located. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I hope yep. that this is visible for the people that are out there watching from QAC TV. And the, it's right near the sleep in. We kind of put it in this format for the purposes of making sure that geographically people had reference points as to where this proposed right. development was occurring. Right. And I, you know, this is great. Graysonville has needed this for a long time. Graysonville has been ignored, in my opinion, and bringing in a Denny's, a Chipotle's type of facility, but let's just concentrate on a Denny's for sure. Right. I think it's going to be tremendous for the community and not just, again, the county. And this is a perfect location. It's zoned for it now, mm -hmm. so there really should be many issues. Um, other than uh, possibly running sewer, I guess, mm -hmm. has to, sewer has to run there, but I'm sure they'll work that right. logistics out. So the project has been to the Planning Commission already, and Correct. it has concept plan approval, but there's a few more procedural hoops that it has to go to right. through before it's finally approved. Right. So, But this will be an opportunity for the public outside of the setting of the Planning Commission process to really enjoy an opportunity to hear about the project, offer comments, well, ask well, questions. To really vent to me. You know, mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I ran for commissioner is I really feel people have a right to speak. And I remember during the primary in 2014 um, when they were building the, um, oh God, well, the gas station there where mm -hmm. Holly's used to be. Mm -hmm. What's it? The Royal Farms. The Royal mm -hmm. Farms. There was some community meetings, but the people were upset. They, and when the meetings I was at, I would say 75% of the people were upset and they weren't heard. So I knew then I want to hear from the people. I want the people that come to support this that also don't support this. Mm -hmm. They need to come and express their opinions to okay, us. Okay, good. Well, there are lots of opportunities out there for people to review right. uh, the site plan right. they can re or the concept plan. They can uh, review on-site things. If we look at the next slide, then we have um, options where they can access information about this. They can reach it on www.qac.org, and that's really important. We're trying to encourage everyone to uh, visit the website, qac.org, sign in for uh, notifications that they might like to receive when it comes to planning commission agendas, board of appeals agendas, uh, any county commissioner agendas, so mm -hmm. there's an option to notify me on there. We also have a Queen Anne's County Government Facebook page, and this information is also posted there. We try and reach out to the public in a variety of ways. Um, the other thing that we have available for this particular project is uh, a link to 
the Planning Commission video and if you were to click on this link through the website you can access the Planning Commission meeting where the project received concept plan approval immediately. It'll take you right to that segment. And then there's also a 3D video, which is kind of interesting. Absolutely. That's something new that we've done. And right. I know you were at the Planning Commission mm -hmm. meeting and you saw that. What did you think of that? I thought it was excellent. And I think that's how all presentations should be. Mm -hmm. When we have a project coming to the county, that's how it should be done. Good. I love that. Good. And another opportunity, of course, is to go directly to the Queen Anne's County Department of Planning and Zoning and you can visit them at 160 Corsoval Drive in Centerville and that's important because then they would have hard copies of the documents available prior to the meeting. So we look forward to having everybody come and visit us. Yeah, absolutely, right. I'm looking forward to it. All right. You know, I, I want to say a couple things too if I can. Sure. So people at the end of this meeting um, will have an opportunity to ask me a question countywide. It doesn't okay. have to pertain to this. It can mm -hmm. be any specific issue that's on their mind. We're going to set up a ball, a, a jar, a bucket, whatever it's going to be. When you first come in, there'll be a piece of paper. You'll put your name and your question. We'll put it in this uh, bucket and then Faith or somebody will draw a couple of names out and randomly I'll just okay. answer some Good. questions. So it's kind of like a fishbowl contest. Kind of like a, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, also, this is going to be the first of, I'm hoping, planned of six right now town hall meetings for this coming year because for Graysonville, there's a lot of businesses planning to come to Graysonville that's on the books now that I want to talk about in Good. future stuff that I think it's going to help our economy out tremendously. Well, consistent with your uh, your interest in economic development and wanting to see the county grow in a lot of those ways, we'll look forward to doing that. We also have one coming up probably scheduled in March, and we'll tell you more about that one later about the Davidson Farm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.